what started off as a normal day for our first patient has ended up with a trip to accident and emergency. Don't worry, Zan, she's in the right place. For you. In Liverpool, 12-year-old Khadija is in accident and emergency with her dad. I have hurt my hand. Well, let's see it then. Ooh, how'd you do that? Khadija was on her way to the bus stop, rushing to get to school. Suddenly, she saw her bus coming down the road. It's going very fast. She's going to have to race to catch it. She did. Khadija and the bus were neck and neck. Then the bus went faster. So Khadija took a sneaky shortcut through the supermarket. She ran down the aisles, past the breakfast cereal, out the door and into the car park. Ooh, good tactic. Look, she's ahead of the bus. She's going to make it. But then she tripped. And she cut her hand on some glass. Ouch! Before anything else, Khadija is sent for an X-ray of that hand. OK, I'll finish. Then it's off to see nurse practitioner Jenny Cardis for an examination. Can you make a fist for me? Lovely. And stretch your hand out for me. Excellent. I was checking to see if she had a full range of movement to her hands and checking to see if she had normal sensation. She had a little difficulty with moving her thumb. Your hand has 27 bones in it, as well as ligaments that hold everything together. They're not really blue, by the way. Then there are the nerves that give us feeling and the tendons that allow the hand to move. Some tendons and nerves are very close to the surface of your skin, and a deep cut like Khadija's can easily damage them. You can lose feeling or not be able to move your hand at all, which is why a bad cut often needs surgery to fix it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little look at your x-ray. Before any treatment, it's important to check for anything that might still be in the wound. So I can't see any obvious glass, so I'll go and have a little chat with Dad. So I think what we need to do is give it a good clean, put a lovely dressing on it, start with some antibiotics, yeah. and I'm going to ask you to come back in the morning. We might need to get plastics to have a little look at her. Khadija will be back in the morning, so a specialist can have a look at that cut and see if she's done any major damage. We'll catch up with her then. Khadija's in with a cut hand. Khadija was racing for her bus to school. They were neck and neck, but then the bus went faster. As she chased it, she tripped and cut her hand. Ouch! After being patched up, she's now back to see hand specialist Mr Partha Vayud. He's concerned she may have damaged her tendons or nerves. Is that OK or not too bad? Um, that, my finger's OK, but I just feel like this little effect's coming down here. So what's the verdict, Doc? I think this is going to need for us to do a, a small operation, OK? But if we find there are some injuries to your tendons or nerves, then we may need to try to repair these. So it's off to the operating theatre to get this sorted. So we're going to have a look at your right hand today, aren't we? Khadija's given an anaesthetic, so she sleeps through the operation. But once they start, they get a surprise. The wound is very, very superficial. So based on that, it's less likely we're going to need to do anything more than give it a clean, dress it. Well, that's brilliant news for Khadija. Her hand is fine after all. So, what have you learned, Khadija? I've learned to never rush for a bus or take shortcuts in places that aren't really safe. Wise words. Bye. Give us a wave.